Hey guys, and welcome to the first visual video where we're going to be discussing tips and tricks on how to make your tabletop RPG vaults into the best they can possibly be. In this video, however, I'm going to be recommending, from my personal opinion, what community plugins I use as the backbone for my vault. However, there are many amazing plugins out there that offer a lot more and certainly should be something you look into. Also, I'm not someone that knows these plugins in and out. For that, there's an amazing community discord down below in the description for you to check out and ask any questions you may have if you run into them. Before we get started, however, please know anything like this is always a work in progress, meaning people such as myself are always learning and finding new ways to make things better. So in turn, that means our notes will always be developing and over time, opinions may change. As such, these videos may become outdated and my opinions may change. So if this ever happens, I'll do my best to return to these videos and redo them. Also note that this video is just to get you acquainted to these plugins and we'll go into them in more detail later when we talk about the applications in different areas of our vault. Now one thing to mention before we get into this is where to actually find these plugins. First you'll need to go to your settings. Then go down to Community Plugins. And if you have the safety mode turned on, go ahead and turn it off. And then you need to go and browse your Community Plugins. And from there, that's where you'll be able to search the following plugins. Number one, Data View. Data View is made by Blacksmith Goo. And it treats your Obsidian Vault as a database, which you can query from. It provides a JavaScript API and a pipeline based query language for filtering, sorting and extracting data from Markdown pages. If none of that makes sense to you, don't worry, because I don't understand much of it either. Let me explain to you in simple terms, which I understand also. Obsidian uses a writing system known as Markdown. In short, it's how it interprets how you type, from making text bold with um, the stars to making a title with hashtags. It then takes this information and puts it through a system and showcases it in different ways. This can be from showing different things about a specific topic in a grid, to even showing something like what NPCs are in a town or what notable locations you have in the area. Number two, database folders. Database folders made by Raphael GB is another type of database plugin, but instead of just calling on different bits of information within your note, it instead allows you to populate notes very quickly in different ways. As well as being able to search and edit them, this can be a very quick and useful way to create some NPCs, locations, or even items with bare bone basic information where you can later return and fill them out with further detail. Number three, Obsidian Leaflet. Obsidian Leaflet made by Valentine195. Whilst not as complicated on the surface as the previous two, it's still a very useful tool. It allows you to put in images such as maps for cities and countries, then allows you to place icons on to keep track of locations such as shops, points of interest, or other useful tidbits of information. Additional useful plugins. Whilst these plugins may not be the backbone of my vaults, they have a strong part to play within it. ITS Theme Appearance. The ITS Theme made by SLRVB is a community tabletop RPG style that gives us some amazing looks and tools within our vaults. Most importantly, in my opinion, is the callouts they give us that allow us to customize the layout of our notes even more. Style Settings Style Settings made by MG Myers is a plugin that allows us to customize and edit certain plugins and themes to allow us to achieve the appearance we want, from changing fonts to even adding various icons in places. Various Compliments Various Compliments made by Tadashi Akawa if I mispronounce that, I'm sorry. It's a handy tool to help you link your notes together effortlessly. 
Instead of having to manually add in square brackets to your text to link it to other notes, it automatically detects when your notes match and allows you to link it with a click of a button, making taking notes even easier. Honorable mentions. Whilst they didn't get onto my backbone list, these are very useful for a lot of people, especially if you don't use things like virtual tabletops. Tabletop RPG or other stat block plugins. These tools are made for various users, which allow you to make and store monster stat blocks right in your own vault, ready to access and use at any time. Initiative Tracker. The initiative tracker allows you to track the initiative in your vault when you get into combat, making it easy to find out whose turn it is. Dice Roller. No dice on hand? No problem. With the dice roller, you can roll dice in your vault, either a normal d20, or even link them to the stat blocks you just made to automatically roll them with the bonuses already attached. Hopefully that gives you an idea of some of the amazing plugins that are out there. But as I said previously, go out and see what works for you. There might be something I haven't covered which fills the need that you need to fill that I don't cover. And that's okay because everyone's vault is different and your vault should fit your need and be the most accessible to you. But hey, did I miss something? If I did, let me know down in the comments below and I might add it into the next video. However, until then guys, next episode, we're going to go ahead and make an NPC whilst using some of the plugins we've mentioned here today. So I'll see you next time and keep tuned for that. Take care guys.